television news anchor, keynote speaker, author, trainer, and communications consultant. 19 number one bestseller have been nominated and won so many awards throughout your careers. She has a wealth of experience interviewing and consulting with well-renowned figures, celebrities, and corporations. Nadia speaks on how to get people to like you, trust you, and want to do business with you. Over the last few weeks, the entire world has been monitoring the treatment of your grandfather, Nelson Mandela. And my job was to introduce it and provide... With topics like leveraging the power of your personal presence, networking for success, and lighting the fire. Nadia Bilchik. So I get asked a lot of questions around what is a personal brand? What is presence? So today I want to decode both of these things and let's look at tips and techniques to enhance your overall presence and understand how that impacts your brand. So the definition of presence is your ability to persuade, to influence, to inspire. So take a moment and think about how you would rate yours, your overall presence, your ability to persuade, influence, inspire. Now, that fits into the concept of your overall brand. So your presence is part of your brand. Your brand, your personal brand, is how you show up in the minds of the people you impact. Not more complicated than that. So when you think about a certain individual that you work with frequently, take a moment and think about how do they show up in your mind? What words, what adjectives come to mind when you think about that person? And that is the same with you, the people you impact. If I had to say when you think of and put in your name, what comes to mind, a whole series of images and experiences and adjectives come to mind and your overall presence is part of that. Your ability to present information in a powerful way, to communicate impactfully, to connect, to inspire and engage when you are presenting either in person or virtually is a critical part of that. So over the next two days, I'm actually doing information sessions. So please go onto my website, which is nadiaspeaks.com and sign up for an information session. I'm doing one at 6 p.m. this evening, Eastern time, and one at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern time. And in those information sessions, I'll get to know you understand what your needs are, and see if presenting more powerfully will impact your overall presence and enhance your overall brand. And there are a couple of things that you can take into account whenever you're communicating, whether you're doing it in person, whether you're doing it virtually or in a hybrid situation. And simple things like, if I am presenting virtually, Am I looking into the camera? If I am presenting to an audience, am I making eye contact with that audience? Those things sound so obvious to us, but sometimes when you do a video and you watch yourself on the video playback, the things you're inadvertently doing that sabotage you having the maximum presence. And as I said earlier, remember that your presence contributes to your overall brand. Now, there are many other factors that go into your overall brand, your reputation, your consistency, your skills and knowledge that all impacts the overall way you are perceived. And the key to this is what do we have control over? What parts of our personal brand do we have such control over? And that's why for me, presentations, your ability to present present information powerfully is something that everybody can learn to do better. And I'm always intrigued by the adult brain. We have enough neuroplasticity in our brains to learn new skills. And presenting more powerfully, whether you are already presenting regularly, whether you are reluctant to do it, whether you're even reluctant to speak up in a meeting, what are some essential things that you can do each and every time you have to speak up. So please, if you can, go onto my website, which is nadiaspeaks.com, register for one of the information sessions, 
And we'll look at ways that you can become more engaging, more persuasive and more influential. Interestingly enough, we speak about individuals who are fast paced and outspoken as being dynamic, right? So would you consider yourself to be one of those individuals who is more dynamic? Or do you think of yourself as being more magnetic? So magnetic is maybe you have a quieter overall presence, but you can be equally effective. And of course, there are many, many, many shades in between. So as you think about yourself and think about ways you can improve your overall presence, your overall ability to what I call own your space. So what does own your space really mean? And own your space is your ability to be in a situation and be truly comfortable. And part of maximizing your presence and enhancing your brand, as I said earlier, your brand is how you show up in the minds of the people you impact, is your ability to control your nerves. Do you get very nervous when you present information or in high stakes meetings? And I have several videos on YouTube, one being Combat Nerves with Nadia, it's a very short video, and we look at different ways you can overcome nervousness. And I also did a TEDx Emory talk on owning your confidence. And I give you four to five very contrary, concrete tips and techniques that you can implement before high stakes meetings or presentations. And something I love to talk about is developing and utilizing your positive, emotional, memory database. And what that is, is your ability when you're feeling particularly nervous to recall positive past experience and create this positive neural pathway. I'm going to type into the comments my website so that you can go onto it and register please for the session at 6 p.m. this evening. Love you, love you to join us. 6 p.m. this evening and it is at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning, and just an opportunity to explore, are you coming across as the best version of yourself? Are there things that you could be doing? For example, overcoming nervousness. And it's a myth to think that there are some people who just never get nervous. I have been teaching and training for three decades. In fact, it's getting to four decades. That's rather remarkable, isn't it? But so many decades of speaking and training, and there's still certain scenarios that cause anxiety. But what I've learned to do over the years to enhance my overall presence and therefore presence being part of the overall way you are perceived, your brand, how you show up in the minds of the people you impact, is I've learned to use these techniques so that I know how to calm myself down. And also, and this is something to ask yourself, do you recognize when you're getting anxious? Do you recognize when your voice might be high pitched and your heart is pounding and you realize that your mind, instead of being flow, I'm relaxed, I'm talking to you, I'm totally at ease and confident, I go into either flight, fight, or freeze. And sometimes people, when they get nervous, it's as if they're being attacked, fight, flight, or freeze. And the idea is that you learn to recognize that because if we are going to enhance our overall presence and if we are going to develop the kind of brand, which means we show up positively in the minds of the people we impact, one of the things we want to do is control our nervousness. So please join me this evening, 6 p.m. Eastern time. All the information is on NadiaSpeaks.com. And I'm making sure that you see that. And if Jamin Gluck has just joined us or is listening or watching, Jamin and I, Jamin is an executive at Amazon and he is a wonderful young man and speaker. And together we are working to offer you a fabulous eight week masterclass. And in the masterclass, or as we say here in the United States, a master class. 
And we're looking at ways that in each and every interaction, you can ensure you're being as persuasive, influential, inspiring. And you are using every opportunity, whether you're in sales, whether you are in marketing, whether you're an entrepreneur, ensuring that interactions are maximized because you have the awareness. And we say in the world of professional development that all self-improvement starts with self-awareness. And are you aware? And then is there a certain mindset? And are there certain tips and techniques that you can implement? And sometimes really, and thank you for those of you who are joining us. If you have just joined me, um, I'm Nadia Bilchik, and I'm talking about maximizing your presence and how it impacts your personal brand. So thank you. And it's so interesting, the questions that I get asked time and time and time again. And that's why I got asked this again this morning and thought it was a great opportunity to share the concept of presence and brand, because these things get bandied about all the time. But what do they actually mean? And what do they mean for you? And do you have the ability before you walk into presentations or high stakes meetings to really ensure that you are in control? So ask yourself that question. Are you in control or does the situation control you? And have you thought about perhaps giving a TEDx talk? Uh, one of the things I will be covering is if you're interested in giving a TEDx talk because you have a great story to share or information and insight. And by the way, that's another question I get asked all the time is how do you become a professional speaker or how do I speak more if I'm interested? And it really takes having something to give. What do I know? What do I want to share with the world? And then have I delivered? develop the depth of knowledge and expertise and as am I seen as an expert in that field? So how do you develop that? So there are many, many reasons that people want to have greater presentation power as part of their overall presence and brand. And whatever that is for you, as I say, please come along at 6 p.m. Eastern time this evening or 9 a.m. tomorrow just for an information session to register for the sessions you will need to go onto my website but so open to hearing from you about how Jamin and I can help you develop your presence and enhance your overall brand. Because when we think of individuals who communicate well, who have this magical, elusive thing called presence, what are they doing? And another myth, just talking about myth busters, is yes, I have to be this confident extrovert to have presence. And that's not true. I know many people who are more thoughtful and reserved, who have masterful presence, who inspire, persuade, and influence. And as I say, many shades in between. So, so hope you can join us. Jamin has put this in at poweryourpresentation.com. Thank you, Jamin. Please go onto that site or my website, nadiaspeaks.com, to register for one of our information sessions. And just look forward to seeing how we can help you. And I do see a couple of questions coming in. So um, questions that are coming in right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the question. So the questions coming in, one of them being, is it possible to overcome nervousness? And I just want to share that with you, Tamara, is that I have worked with so many executives and individuals at all stages of their career and across all industries. And the techniques that I use around developing greater confidence and overcoming nervousness are very powerful. And I'm not saying you don't get nervous. What you do is you manage your nervousness in a way that puts you in control. And that's what we do. Okay, another question coming in. And I am streaming across several platforms. So I'm getting questions from my YouTube, from Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, question, okay, very beneficial, says Salih Ahmed. Thank you, Salih. And Salih, again, if you have any questions. But it's just saying, and this is what I hoped you would get out of my conversation this morning, is looking at your presence as your ability to persuade, influence, and inspire. Seeing that as part of your overall brand, Salih, how do I show up 
in the minds of the people I impact? And would having more powerful presence and mastering my presentation skills add to that? And whether you are in a position of entrepreneurship or you are needing to speak up more eloquently in a meeting. I've had the pleasure of working at CNN since 1997. And something I've noticed is in all our meetings, people who present ideas in a more articulate way are recognized, are seen, are more visible, are seen as leaders. And you don't, and I'm going to say this again to Jamin, to Salih, to whoever else is joining us, you don't need to be fast-paced and outgoing to improve the overall way you present yourself. There are so many, if you think about individuals who we know, who are public figures, just the different styles. And I'd say that's my other tip of today is embrace your style. I love what Oscar Wilde said, which is you may as well like yourself because everyone else is already taken. But just the concept of when I present information, am I comfortable with myself? And we don't want it to be a hit and miss, right? Oh, sometimes I nail it and sometimes I don't. It's the consistency of, am I prepared? Do I know how to prepare? Do I have a structure for how I present information? And these are all of the things we'll be covering. So poweryourpresentation.com. Delighted to be joined on this venture by talented young Amazon executive and very articulate thought leader, Jamin Gluck. And I wanted to partner with a millennial because A, bringing a different perspective, diversity of audiences, of styles, of how people receive information, and it's been very interesting working with Jamin as I have, because I come from a certain background. Are we dealing with very tech savvy people? Are we cutting through the clutter? Because a lot of the people that you are managing today may not be your age, may not be at the stage that you're at. And are you understanding how to adapt to not only different personality styles, different ages, different stages? Are we tapping into all of that? So those are things we'll be discussing in our 6 p.m. session this afternoon, but please, you do have to register. So I'd love to see you, see how we can help you. And I will leave you with Jeff Bezos's definition of a brand. Jeff Bezos said, and I am paraphrasing ever so slightly, so in deference to Jeff, is that a brand for a company, and I'm going to add, or a product, is like a reputation for a person. That's your brand, your reputation. In our sessions, we look at what makes up that reputation because it's not like a cover of a phone or a packaging for an article or an object. Your brand is experienced moment by moment, interaction by interaction, presentation by presentation. So please join us, powerupyourpresentation.com. I'm so delighted that Jamin will be joining me on this venture and look forward to meeting you in person. Hope you have a fabulous day, rest of the week. And if I ask you to be conscious of one thing this week, it's not only what you say, but how you say it, tone of voice, inflection, energy level. Einstein always says, Everything is energy. And is your energy attracting or is your energy repulsing? So how do you create the kind of energy that attracts? Thank you all. Look forward to seeing you either at 6 p.m. this evening or 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. And it's on powerpresentation.com or 99.9.